Well, congestive heart failure is usually associated with humans, but it's something that can also affect your pets. CHF is found in both dogs and cats, but how do you know if your pet is at risk? Joining me now is Dr. Christian Broadhurst. And who's this? She is so kissy. This is Sushi. This is my sushi. girl. Sushi. Sushi was just yep. giving me kisses on my arm. Well, you weren't expecting it. I know. It's, she was like, pay attention attack. to me. I know. So Sushi's here because she's the right breed. Are there yes. certain... Uh, for the possibilities of congenital heart failure, are there certain breeds that um, are more susceptible? It is it is commonly found more in small dogs than it is big dogs. Now, any dog can get congestive heart failure. And for instance, Dobermans have their own special variety and they're big dogs. But in general, uh, Chihuahuas, Yorkies, Min Pins, Poodles, those are the, the most common diseases we see, or most common breeds we see this disease in. You know, I have Pomeranians and one of them, he breeds, you know, kind of, you know, like, <clears throat> I'm like he's I'm making an obscene phone calls the way that I, you know, that I, but, uh, but is that one of the signs? Because I know that there are certain symptoms that you really need to look for. It, it can be one of the signs. Another problem with small breed dogs, though, is they also tend to have collapsing airway disease. Mm. And so that can mimic or be worsened by congestive heart failure. But the signs you're looking for are dramatic decrease in activity, coughing. Um, especially wet coughing at night, not a dry, hacky cough that tends to be the airway, but this kind of <laughs> in the middle of the night. It's a sure, it's one of our main indicators for investigating heart disease. So not the dry, hacking cough, but just that low kind of... A deep kind of wet cough. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so it, if you recognize any of these factors, you need to get them in. And then what happens when they come in um, to, to see you and, and you, run, you run several tests? Yeah, we're going to basically, we're going to give them a good listen because certainly our ears are one of our best tools when it comes to heart failure. See if we can hear heart murmurs, fluid buildup in the lungs, crackles, wheezes, things like that. We'll take some x-rays and we'll see the size of the heart, the amount of fluid build up in the lungs. And if your dog goes, hey, Sush, um, too long without being mm -hmm. treated, you can end up with end-stage heart disease, which will end up with fluid in your, in your chest, in your abdomen. Um, you've all seen the pictures of the heartworm dogs. They're dying of heart failure, and that's their big old pot bellies full of fluid. So That was going to be my next question is, what if you don't address this and don't get it treated? Heart failure is ultimately a terminal disease if not controlled. Now, it can, can be trolled, controlled successfully for a long time. Um, but you got to think about the heart. It's one of the organs that does not regenerate very well. So as you lose heart muscle, as your valves become damaged, um, there's very little way to go back on that. But we can slow the progression. We can definitely slow it. Is surgery an option? I, I was, was reading some of the notes that you sent in, and it even said a pacemaker. It depends. Now, if you have certain kinds of atrioventricular blocks, just like humans will get, it is a, you are able to have pacemakers implanted, not at most facilities. Um, for some congenital heart diseases, like um, valvular problems in young dogs, surgery is an option too. But for your average run-of-the-mill middle-aged to older dog that develops heart failure, surgery is generally not indicated. And really regular checkups can help to address this too. Annual exam. Yeah, I mean, the annual exam, I know I get the, you know, and this is maybe another reason too why pet insurance is is a good option because you know, I'm, I, I can imagine that the heart surgery is not a cheap thing. Mm -mm, no, and if you go on to medications, those tend to be lifelong medications once you start them. So absolutely, it, it's something, it's better to be caught early and treated early rather than wait till end stage because once it's end stage, there's Survival times are yeah. much, much worse. And especially if your pet is a member of your family, Absolutely. something to consider. All right, Absolutely. Sushi, you did great. You did good. Are you bored now? You're a good girl. Yeah, you so are. So for more information on pet care services, check out the Clay Humane website. We've posted a link on the morning show page of news4jacks.com. Don't forget to check out the pet section underneath the entertainment tab, too, for a list of pets that are currently up for adoption.